Hopefully we don't crash. Here's to not crashing. Let's, let me go home and check the catalog because I got a new thing, I guess. Oh, and I got to turn on the music. I always have the music off. Oh. <laughs> Dude, the game is laggy. Can I go to a quieter district? Oh, Jesus. Why are the trees Halloweenified? Why is everything... Um, <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Help. <laughs> the game is so laggy. <laughs> oh, we did it. Dear God. Um, we, we did it. Okay, there's a lot of people on right now because they just updated the game nine minutes ago. And it went from zero to like over 600 people all entering the game. There is an update. Hi Roller is back. We did it once last year on stream. Um, we are going to do it today, I think, and probably crash. Uh, huh. oh. <laughs> oh. I got the rainbow skirt, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy they finally got that. I've been waiting. Was that it? Ooh. Ah! That scared me. Um, okay, well, that's it. That, that was it. That was one useful thing. Another thing that we got going on with this update, it's April Tunes, April Fools. Um, so we got High Roller. There's some kind of face the family thing I'm not familiar with. And we can go... Two, we can go talk to Thomas, which is a character, the chief operating officer. He is a board bot, and he is the brother of the chairman who basically rules over the entire company. Um, he's much less corrupt and absolutely horrible than his brother, so he's, he's a pretty chill guy. Um... And he likes plants, and he's cool. I So every year, they release a thing where you can go see him, and he will basically spoon-feed you lore, just random lore. And it's new stuff every year, I believe. So we're going to look at that first. That's the first thing that we're going to do, and we're going to see it on stream together. So, hope you're all as excited as I am. Whoa, shut up. Um, oh, yeah, music. Volume music. I think it takes a while for him to get to the point. Like, last year, I wasn't... Oh, man. Here's the here's the guys. Here's the ducks. Oh, not yet. 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 I'm doing something else. Shut up. Everybody, shut up. <laughs> Getting mad at everyone for having joy and whimsy in Toontown, the most joyful, whimsical game there is. But we're the, dude, plans for the stream today. We're gonna look at this and we're gonna react to it together because I am a lore enthusiast. Look at all these people who are going. Am I gonna experience it with other people? That'll be weird. I did it alone last year. Oh, you definitely touched that cog. Oh my God, are a bunch of people going together? I hear people, move out of my way, cog. Damn, just massive obstacles. Ugh. Bow. Okay, so. We are gonna experience this to get, oh, I always get lost on this street. Is it this way? Is it this way? Oh, this street's so weird. Okay, here's a gag and go. Here we go, here we go. We're going the right way. I'm excited, dude. I'm a lore enthusiast, and I want to know more. <gasps> Woo! Let's go! Are there people in here? Oh, Jesus, there are. That person going alone? I don't know. <laughs> Can people only go by themselves? I'm not sure how it works. I... I'm not going to intrude. I'm just going to let them go. And then I'm going to go. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. 
Well, I guess I'm going with other people because I'm going. I was here first. You guys are intruding on me. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I am excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys haven't even seen him. Oh, also, we're going to do the high roller, of course, after this. And I want to look at uh, maybe some old Debian or I don't know. Oh. Checking elevator for non-company entities. Uh-oh. No non-company entities detected. Oh, well, you were wrong. Hi. Hello. You are productive. Is that him or is that? I think that's the radio. Your company values the work that you do. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see that. You have the power to be the most efficient version of yourself. Your colleagues like that. You always put the company first. Is he listening to the radio? Hi. Oh, hello. Seems that the new security system doesn't work. <laughs> so that's what that was. Robert had security checks put all over the place to dissuade you from popping in. Well, Robert is the chairman. It's too bad the company couldn't afford actual security guards, but that's Chris's domain and not mine. Oh, sure, they couldn't afford it. Well, since you're here, perhaps you could stick around for a bit. I have a few questions I need to ask you. Okay. Like, whoops. So there are pauses. There are certainly pauses where he'll write for a bit and then he'll get back to explaining, I guess, to let it all sink in. So we will, the good thing is this time I'm streaming so I can take those, those times to talk and commentate over what we're learning. I like this song. <laughs> oh yeah. Those cookies sure do look good. We're saying things in game. There's some speech options for the COO. I'm going to water. You guys can't see it because I zoomed in. I'm going to water the plants. You should water the plants. Going to have a meaningful conversation. So do you remember those new hires I was telling you about last time we met? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, we finished hiring them. Don't distract me, Toon. <laughs> yes? You've probably seen some of them wandering around, which means I can finally talk more about what exactly this company has been up to. Thanks for spilling the deets, dude. He does not care. After the whole regional manager plan was a bust, Robert fired about 23 different entities responsible for the fiasco car, calming down and developing a new course of action. That's quite a mouthful. It was decided that the company's recent efforts had not been good enough. He's talking about the board bots, because those just got added, like, what, two weeks ago? These included bringing in a new chief legal officer, hiring litigation team, blah, blah, all that bullshit. That's old news. None of these things had solved any of the company's existing problems, namely the tune problem. It's probably never going to fix it. Robert never, despite being the head of the company, did not blame himself for these failures. Of course he didn't. He's a twisted, corrupt man. Surely the lower-level managers and employees of the coal, oil, and ice gas syndicate had been the responsible party. I don't know why he said ice. I'm not sure if they were, but it's his company, so he could do what he wants with it. It's because he said coal. Coal and ice district is the berg, so I thought... He said coal, so I would filled it in. Since firing underperforming employees and hiring new ones hadn't worked for him so far, Robert's response was to fire a bunch of underperforming employees and hire a bunch of new ones. Got it. Watch out, the plants are wilting. The unique factor here is that my department was a subject of said firing and hiring. Yeah, the board bots. The board bots. The official reason for this was that a mass restructuring of the four other four major departments each represented difficult logistical official the board bots, by virtue of lacking a completed headquarters, did not face such issues. My God, so many words. In addition, there, there were some accusations of insider training that suddenly sprang up against some of the lower-level employees. Insider? The timing seemed awfully convenient, so I'm not sure that those ac accusations were credible. Wait a minute, there's a cog named Insider. Did he do some freaky shit? Sketchy shit, to be fair, when your suit model is con artist or swindler, I imagine it might be easy to get accused of illicit activity. My cats are scratching at the door. One sec, I've got to let them out of the bathroom. Hello, babies. We have to leave them in there for a bit because, uh, 
my cats, one of my cats has been having issues uh, where he'll pee around the house. We took him to the, oh, the decision is to, <laughs> to upend the, fuck, the board bot department was not a universally popular one, especially among the board bots themselves. Robert received many complaints and threats of litigation by the soon-to-be jobless suits. Oh, shit. <coughs> yeah, that's not good. Of course, the employees, the coal, oil, and gas syndicate are considered to be hired at will, so Robert would not have to worry about litigation centering on their dismissal, nor was Robert particularly concerned about any action from associated labor unions. Pull on this company is minimal at best. That may have eased Robert's mind, but it didn't make things any better for the board bots themselves. They must have felt desperate to retain their positions. Poor guys. About a week before the sacking was scheduled to occur, there was a massive uptick in board bot activity all over Cognition. I'm sorry, that's a funny phrasing. Before the sacking, I guess they decided that a massive surge of productivity might convince Robert that it was worth the company's time and resources to retain their services. Just too bad that their show of force was not so forceful. The board bots were beaten back like a mob of moochers. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it probably made it easier for Robert to fire them when that finally happened a few days later. It didn't help that their case that six of the eight board bots forgot Robert's manufacturing day. That probably sealed their fate before anything. Wait, what happened? The only two board bots that benefited from all this were the Magnate and Head Honcho. That's right. Those were the only ones that stayed. They got a reskin thing. The both of them were just productive enough to sway Robert into retaining them. Goddamn. Okay. The fact that they remembered his manufacturing day probably helped as well. What manufacturing day? It's not good to read and not process what you just read. The magnet got a promotion too. Officially, the magnet got this because you performed the best out of any board bot during the last ditch effort period. At the same time, I can't help but wonder if Robert did that just because he wanted the highest ranked bird themed suit in the company. Regardless, I'm happy that Robert is finally investing in our department. Who knows where he'll invest next? What did he say? Manufacturing day. It didn't help their, their case that six of the eight board bots forgot Robert's manufacturing day. Oh, they forgot. So they forgot something. So that's not good. That's not good. Six of the eight. Okay, so the two Magna and Head Honcho remembered it. This can be difficult to keep up with. I I can't. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a little guy you might have seen in a hat with a weird mustache wandering around. That's the bag holder. He smells like old petrol and reminds me of this golf cart attendant that yelled at me once. I don't think we should have hired him. Robert saw him hauling coal on his back one day and hired him on the spot because he looked like a board bot. I'm not sure what that means. I suspected Robert may have seen something of himself in this brain. God damn it. If Robert didn't use cleaning products for several years, then maybe I'd see the resemblance. To be fair, I'm not the only one concerned about this new employee. Alan also expressed consternation. That is about the VP. Overconfidence and smell. Robert's response was to hire the paper hands, who is the exact opposite of the bag holder in the sense that he is meek and his basic hygienic... God, stop! I'm happy that we have this new employee, although I'm not sure about the wisdom of pairing these two major products. The theory is that bag holders over confidence and paper hands to <laughs> offset each other. Their similar rank should encourage a collaborative environment. However, <laughs> that theory is not borne out in practice. Paper hands, despite being of a higher rank, is a pushover. The bag holder is the one doing the pushing over. That's not good. They have already lost the company a significant amount of money by stubbornly holding on to assets long after they've lost value. D deep, despite the financial fallings of this detrimental duo. Stop! <laughs> I wonder if Robert has become comfortable with failure. He's dealt with it a lot over the past several years, and the company is still standing, so I guess it counts for something. What do you say? Despite the financial failings of this detrimental duo, Robert has been slow to end their unsuccessful partnership. So the bag holder and the paper hands don't get along. The bag holder smells like shit. The VP doesn't like that. Paper hands is a pushover. And bag holder is the one doing the pushing. <laughs> that was a whole heart attack and a half. This is interesting to stream. Here's the first of my questions for you. Have you seen the insider? I'm asking because I don't think I ever have. We use them for intelligence gathering on both tunes and suits. It's a natural fit, them being a shadowy figure. 
that shadowiness is the problem. I've never held a meeting with them. I've never spoken to them, never even seen them in person. When they deliver reports, I never see them get dropped off. Oops, the reports are just where, there when I enter the room. Considering the rumors about the exact nature of that insider, I think that sense of mystery is shared by other employees. Some say that they never clock out. Others say they're responsible for the chainsaw consultant situation. Still others say that the <coughs> insider is not a single person, but a secret society of suits. <coughs> I even heard one Leary Lawbot claim that the insider, not Atticus, was responsible for that awful insurance company collapse a few years ago. At this rate, I'm half expecting to hear soon that the insider is third cousin to Robert and second cousin to me. Of course, all of these things are almost certainly false. There's a real insider somewhere underneath their hot and collar. One of her other new hires is dedicated to solving the mystery of that insider, that someone would be the circuit breaker. This employee is part of our crisis management team. I guess he decided that the rumors about the insider were a crisis that needed to be managed. He has cobbled together a massive web of information on the exact nature of the insider and who that might be. He likes to talk about these investigative efforts to anyone who will listen. I have done so on several occasions. While I appreciate his dedication, I'm concerned that his obsession is starting to cause problems at the company. Last month, we had a report filed of a crisis management meetings by being derailed by circuit breakers. Inane theory that the insider is secretly three tunes in a trench coat. That's hilarious. I hope, I hope he is. We can read over all of this afterward, by the way, because it's saved here in this chat box. Um, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. So if we miss anything, we can go back. And it'll always be on the wiki page, too sure that'll be updated there are some cases where collaborative efforts have to be arranged by the company as is the case with the bag holder and the paper hands other collaborations form more authentically through shared interests that chainsaw consultant that chip bit threw me off consider the case of the deadlock and the shark watcher both operate in the coal and ice district that's a burke no i didn't see that that he is was concerned no i know this is important i'm missing it wait which is where Cosmo and his underlings have been active, that he is, was concerned about the amount of control Cosmo. Jesus, not sure why the deadlock would care about Cosmo's crew. God damn it. Maybe he just likes being in conflict with other suits. Either way, the two banded together and have created something of a counter gang to thwart Cosmo's ambitions. They made some headway in persuading other suits in the region. God damn. Last week, the satellite investors filed a report on behalf of the plutocrat requesting company meditation. I, these are too many big words. Cosmo lore! They stated that lower-level suits have been disrupting the operations of plutocrat and all associated parties, which include the collection of holiday contributions, contributions, legal unification. God damn it. I offered to have the issue brought before the law bots since they tend to resolve these types of issues, but the satellite investors wanted some sort of commission to make the decision. Oh, they don't like law bots. Company policy prohibits the creation of special commissions that offer authorization for the chairman. To my surprise, he shrugged the whole thing off, stating that the competition is good for productivity, that any info Fighting will only serve to make the company stronger. That's so bad. I would think it's important to present a united suit front and not have subversive activity of this kind. But again, it's Robert's company and he makes the decisions. So the deadlock is causing some sort of... Stop talking! I imagine you can conclude that no special commission was created in this response. The war rages on. Dude, Flynn's probably in the back with a fucking bucket of popcorn watching this shit go down. He likes drama. Cosmo lore satellite investors content. Yay! That's why I went feral when I saw Cosmo mentioned. But I couldn't read it fast enough. I have no control over this. He's just talking and I have to absorb it. Whew. Dude. So the deadlock has an issue with Cosmo's crew. The name is any indication he just... As previously mentioned, the magnet and head honcho were able to prove themselves the chairman and were each were rewarded for their efforts. They kept their jobs, they got upgrades, and the Magnet even got promoted. As you can imagine, they felt pretty happy about all this. Perhaps it wasn't surprising that they couldn't quite excise their more competitive edges once the need... Jeez. Both the Magnet and the head honcho became convinced not only that the chairman favored them, but that they needed to prove it somehow. This led to a strange situation in the office where each was trying to prove themselves superior to the new board bots. Not sure if anyone asked them to prove said superiority, but they were attempting to do it regardless. 
For example, a few weeks ago, Jennifer received a call from someone claiming to be the chairman. They asked for 452 chairs to be delivered to Robert's office. When the head honcho learned of this, not only did he arrange for the delivery of the chairs, but he put himself in a supervisory position to ensure that the chairs were moved to Robert's office once they had been delivered. Was that a random person or was it Robert? Problem was that Robert had not actually asked for this. That answered it. Who did that? You can imagine what the look on his face was when he saw an made of board bots moving tons of chairs into his office. We concluded that a tune had called and pretending to be Robert. Seriously, we could not determine who this tune was or where the call was made. After that incident, Robert refocused the efforts of the magnet honcho onto something more productive. Who the fuck did that? We had hired a lot of new board bots. Robert decided that the magnet head honcho were in a unique position to show these automations to ropes how our company operates. However, the reports coming out of the training session seemed to suggest that the magnet head honcho had been quite egomaniacal. What? One report from Paper Hands told the tale of Magnate forcing the poor, unfortunate Paper Hands to pay for his feather trimming on the grounds that he was a higher-ranked suit and that he deserved it. Okay, so now they have an ego. Another report from Deadlock indicated, well, a deadlock between him and the head honcho over the latter's insistence that the former get him a box of cigars. The standoff only ended when the bag holder insulted the head honcho's taste in cigars. Let's just say that the circuit breaker had to stop the head honcho from beating out what little stuffing there was left in the bag holder's hat. I'm told that the future training sessions will have better oversight from higher-ups in the department. Whew. I'm glad I don't have my breathing problem anymore because this would literally be impossible. I'd be dying on the floor right now. We fixed it just in time for the Toontown Corporate Clash update. That's the only reason I wanted it gone. <laughs> going back to work has been swell. I suppose I should get to those questions I was going to ask you. Right? You see, we are doing a series of both internal and external focus groups surrounding the new board bots and their impact on the company. I have a captive audience, so I might as well get some data from our opponents on what this impact is. I'll read you some questions and you respond to them. It's really important that you be honest to me when you answer these questions, okay? Okay, first question. Are your opinions on the new board bots positive, neutral, or negative? Um, that's a good question. Do we have to answer? <laughs> Very good. I like the new board bots myself, but I'm not part of the focus group, so I won't share any additional opinions. It's like Dora the Explorer. You answer and it doesn't matter. Question two. Do you think that the revamped board bot department represents your values? No. Let me... Let me... Let me... Do I have a think animation? We are tuned, so no. Okay, the answer to that was probably obvious. <laughs> Question three, which board bot have you responded most positively to? Wario Cog. <laughs> <laughs> Wario Cog. Wario Cog on top. <laughs> and a follow up question, which board bot have you responded most negatively to? Oh, I don't know, dude. Dude, the Wario Cog is the bag holder. He looks like Wario. I don't know if I ever shared what he looked like. Okay, there's a few questions about the hiring process that you wouldn't know about, so I'm going to skip those. Question 17. Do you think that these board bots will effectively resolve the tune problem? No! I'm going to scream that. Not at all, lol. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess the jury's still out on that one. <laughs> Okay, I have one more question for you. What projects or goals do you think should be the priority? The coal, oil, and gas syndicate. Dude. It's, man, who do you think we are leaving Dune down, lol? <laughs> the economy. Great, thank you for your input. The company values your thoughts in this time of analysis. No, it doesn't. I'm not sure about the part of the company valuing your necessary, but the opinions will be appreciated regardless. Thomas, keeping it real. Normally at this point, you would receive some type of monetary compensation. Unfortunately, Cogs Inc. does not recognize jelly beans as a form of currency, so I can't give you anything that you would consider money. <laughs> Love that animation. Uh, well, well, <laughs> well, see ya. <laughs> I actually don't know how long this lasts. It sounds like it might be wrapping up. I want more! Give me more!
So it's very focused on the board bot update from recently. My voice sounds a little troubling. <laughs> Too much reading. God damn. <sighs> wow, dude. So, <laughs> my God. Backholder is causing trouble, dude. Causing all kinds of issues. Insulting the cigars of the head honcho. There is something I can give you. Oh, this might be it. A few months ago, the company was experimenting with expressive graphics. It was pitched as more effective be means of business communication. I actually got the technology working. Some of the higher-ups were asked to prepare several graphics for testing. I was one of those higher-ups, and I prepared a graphic that I thought communicated a common sentiment in business communications. However, we ran into problems when we put the graphics in front of the con artist. Right? It's an old board bot. He immediately created a sequence of events that said something very insulting about the chairman. <laughs> the whole project was immediately canceled. And I was told to destroy the graphic that I had created. I'm opting to give it to you instead. You tunes are very communicative. Maybe you'll find a use for it. Anyway, I, was, I have a scheduled meeting to attend to. The board bot division is developing new rules surrounding the discussion of topics that are not on the order paper. The company seems to eager to address the recent magnet head haunts and circuit breaker incidents, myself included. I assume I'll see you at the same time next year. Yep. It's been good. It's been fun. Oh, shit, man. No. Ah! Ah, wait, I should wave, too. Well, fuck! Oh, it was too late. Damn, okay, so that was that was interesting. Oh, did I get a sticker? <gasps> was that what I saw? Oh, a sticker, the Ottoman sticker. Oh! What else did I get? He said I got some kind of... <laughs> he said I got something. What was it? Something that was insulting to the... Or was that the... What, is that the sticker? That seems weird, though. Oh, man. Dude! Wild! Okay, well, I guess I think it's high roller time. Check out how many high roller groups are going to be in here. We have... None? Okay, there's two full ones. Well, they're probably filling up super fast, so that's probably what's going on. Well... Think, damn, that was a lot, dude. It's a lot of board bot stuff. That was fun. Head honcho, let's have a, hang on. <coughs> Let me give you a look at this. Check this out. So let's look at the board bots. This is the back holder. He apparently smells like shit. That's the problem they're having with him right now. He kind of looks like Wario with his funky little mustache. And it, this is Paper Hands, so I guess Paper Hands is a pushover, and Bag Holder has been pushing him around. Um, let's see. And then fucking somewhat Deadlock. I know Deadlock was mentioned, having a problem with Cosmo. Cosmo is the plutocrat. We fought him a little while ago, and he's got the satellite investors who work with him. Uh, it's so, more and more people are causing issues with them. Um, and let's see. And then I guess the bag holder insulted the head honcho cigars. So the head honcho almost beat the shit out of him is what I'm understanding. And I think he said circuit breaker broke him up. So that was wild. This person looks exactly like, aha. That's funny. We need to get dressed for the occasion. I need to put on some of my old high roller fits. We got our old high roller hat. This is from last year. <coughs> Low baller glasses. <clears throat> and what else was there? I don't remember if there was a backpack or not, but the money bag fits pretty well. <coughs> um. All right, we'll go with that. And then there was also the high roller suit. I'm going to go with the normal suit, not the prodigal suit, maybe. Actually, I think I might like the prodigal suit more. Maybe a mix of both. I actually, Yeah, I like the... I think I like the mix. We'll mix them up. 
Okay, well that was fun. I wanted to experience that with you all. I'm a lore person, I like lore. That was fun to try and read through all the dialogue. It'll be up on the wiki and stuff so I can look it over, but were, were there shoes or no? I don't see any. Um, I don't remember if there were like official high roller shoes. I guess I'll pick whatever I want then. Um, I'll go with a uh, little wing, a uh, little green shoes. Get a little bit of green in there. And is there a high roller group open or no? Nope, they're all getting full super fast. I will create a new one and it'll get full super fast. I don't think it matters uh, what gags and shit that you have. I'm pretty sure. I think they changed phase two. I don't fully remember how to do this. But there we go. Batter up, Dr. Jelly Roll, Jellyfish, and Zozo. Here we go. He rocking the low baller glasses. Okay. Are we ready? <coughs> Howdy. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Oh, I missed high roller, dude. <sighs> Are we allowed to skip a cutscene or no? I don't really want to. Oh! Following instance is not canon. Okay, cool. Ooh! New background? That's new. How's the hoop skip out there, toe taps? Can't thank you enough for these claps! Just give him like a super loud voice. Ooh, the background looks different. It does. Yeah, we got the audience out here, Rain and William over there. We got these bitches. Let's go! This is not canon. The Casino Card Sharper, the Roulette Rockabilly, the Quartet Quack Attacker, the Spinning Wheel! Fuck! Woo! Buck Ruffler, the Duck Shuffler. I love this cutscene. I've seen it before. Yeah, we got gay people in the crowd. I see them. The table is hot and I'm on top. Let's play. Careful! Careful's in the crowd! We are on the wall still. Still don't know if that's supposed to happen. Looks like we got some surprise guests. Did he turn around? He just turned around. Is that new? He can turn his head around? Well, I guess this isn't canon, so maybe he can't. Did he do that before? Did I never notice that? Yay, the dances. He turned his head right around like an owl. I forgot about the drums. Ah! Yeah! High roller! Welcome back to the Tune of Earth's favorite foe. Yay! Woo! Oh, I missed it so much! What are you waiting for, babe? Hop on stage. I bit my tongue. I am in pain. <coughs> what are you meowing about? I love how no one voted to skip, right? We wanted to see it again. Bobby Dazzler. This is my first HR of this year. Can't wait to see the new battle stuff. Me too. Okay, cool. Very interested for the rework of phase two. Same. I heard it's real different. Yeah, that's what the update said, is that phase two is completely different. Oh, man! Woo! I'm so excited! It's been so long! I'm kind of getting a little nostalgic. Has been a year. wonder if pip stacking is the same. Yeah. Okay, so we're all new to this. Which means we could die. Oh, trivia. Oh, boy. Bet you're just bursting with knowledge. Let's find out. Which of these throw gags does not have a fly th equivalent? That is incorrect. Well, I guess because it's a question. He doesn't have his lisp. Does not have a slice equivalent. Cupcake doesn't have a slice. Or, oh, yeah, you're right. It's two of them. Got it. 
Nice catch. I almost just went straight for cupcake. Correct, 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 correct. Oh, ah! That's the sound of the gags being, uh, the cogs being drowned. <laughs> Do you like my sound effect? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, die now. What? Whoa, whoa, hang on. Something, whoa. Ooh, with, whoa, new camera angles. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Okay, 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 okay. New camera angles throwing me off. How do we do this again? Should we sound? Or... I think that we could just sound, right? I think so. Dude, this song is such a banger. Oh, I missed this. Shit rules. Oh, this was so much fun. He takes more damage now. He sure does. Oh, this is such a banger. What, kill all of them? I think so. I'm looking at the 30. Oh, such a banger. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Here we go, bitch, spin that wheel, game time, woo! Oh, hopefully we don't crash too. That would be a bummer. I know there's a new sticker too. Memory ain't as good, but let's see if you can keep up. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a new snap animation, yeah. Bet it all on red, disclaimer, it's not financial advice. Okay, left, A. Hurry up. Fucking walking over there all slow. Hit the cog that talked. Mr. A, sir. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's also the sound of the cog. Whoa! Oh, shit. Okay, so that's what happened. Dude can just... That's literally Graham's fantasy from Meeting of Two Minds, where he snaps and everyone disappears. He wishes, he wishes. Sweetie wishes, he's over there in the crowd, dude. He's over there in the crowd watching this shit. Okay, now we got big boys. How should we deal with this? Trap? Or should I... Or, um, I think because the 121, that should someone hit that seven. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm not good at math. Ugh. Hate it. Oh! Okay. What the stink? We lost them anyways! They just took our pips for- Oh, the drop hit. But the squirt didn't. Excellent work. Takes the pips anyways, huh? Cruel. Oof. We can't use Unites either. This sucks. Oh my god! That would be a shitty way to go out. This is some bullshit. <sighs> well, we need to tune up, so... Ooh. 
How'd you do that? Oh, because of the... Um... Want a sound? I guess so. Yeah, may as well. How are you all doing today, by the way? Should ask that. So I'm doing pretty splendid. I woke up with like a ton of energy and I'm like, I'm gonna stream like immediately. But then uh, they didn't update the game until one o'clock in my time zone. So that's why we got such a late ass stream going. Oh yeah, it's April Fool's. Should I have done some dumb shit for April Fool's? I didn't. How many unique kart racing tracks are there? Um, eight or 12, I don't know. Golly, aren't there two, three, um, I am going to say eight. We might be wrong. I don't know. And correct. Yeah. No, that was wrong. <laughs> ah. Ah. Six. Oh, I was like, where's the... Ow. I knew this blue guy is going to die. Zozo or whatever his dumbass name is. Yeah, Zozo. Sorry for... That was insulting. So mean. I'm telling. <laughs> it's six. Checked wiki. It was six. I was thinking two, three. Bruh. I should have gone with what I thought. Well. Should we try this? If this misses, Zozo's gonna just be dead. I'm dumb. <laughs> um, okay. Sure, that'll kill the cold collar. Okay, if that hadn't hit, Zozo would literally be dead. Unless none of them hit uh, Zozo. If all the cogs just targeted the rest of us, then one of us could die. Okay, okay. How much, 82, how much, okay, he's dead. Shouldn't have clicked off of High Roller's name, now I can't click on it again. Yeah, well, let me click on it. Okay. What was the background last time? Because I remember this background is not the same. Hmm. Guess like... That flunky is ridiculous. See, I'm thinking trap two. If we kill them this round, we finish phase one, I think. If we can. The flunky still doesn't die, but. <sighs> um. Not gonna kill Rip, I know, I don't. Hopefully that flunky doesn't hit you, dude. It's 18. It's level 18. We don't have Unites, we can't, don't hit, don't. No! Okay. At least it didn't kill them. Okay. 
I can't see his health. I haven't been paying attention though. Okay, well, no, we got another round to go. Okay. Okay. So High Roller was first introduced last year. I did one battle on stream. I don't remember how eventful it was. I had already done it like 20 times at that point. But this is my first time doing it uh, this time around. Hope my insurance covers this. Okay, okay, okay. It's three. It's C. It's C. It's C. I see you, C. I like shuffle games. Those ones are fun. They require a lot of concentration. There you go. There you go. Woo! I like that. Wait, hit his name, hit his name, hit his name! No, I meant to hit his name! Come on, man! That was such an overreaction. I meant to hit his name. That's when I get a chance to click him. I don't know why I can't click him outside of that. Can't see his health. God damn, dude. Zozo's stressing me out with his health. I, I... Uh, Man. Okay. I think we should start off with some lore. You can do that. Someone else can drop that. Tune up, please. And then someone else should drop. Let, okay. That'll do it. <laughs> Sweet, dude. And it missed. Kidding. It hit. <laughs> See, there's the insider right there. This sketchy looking guy right here. So that was one of the one of one of the guys that was being talked about. Oh, there is. Yeah, they added like a new animation for cogs that are like low on health. Like not just their faces, their bodies too. What the fuck? Oh, it must be it must be phase two time. Cause he stopped that a turn early. Yeah, baby. Here we go. I have no idea what to do here. I don't think any of us know what to do here. Line go up, head turner, keep those cameras rolling. Let's see the next big play for today. <laughs> Yep, that, that's not new. They still have the vine boom. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hope the folks at home are ready for a real... I forgot they added the fucking vine boom. Okay, that none of this is new. Oh my god, none of that's new. I'm used to that... That debacle. Is that, is that the right word? Dave Brubot Quartet. Bring them in, baby doll. I don't know why it went southern. Okay, so far this is the same. How is this gonna go? Oh, the banger! Hmm. Oh. Different health from last time. Pursue the status alongside of it will deal more damage every turn. Per use the status. It will deal more damage every turn. They kind of look familiar. It's a spree, huh? They will stay lured for two rounds. Guess I'll do that. Okay. That guy is going to die if this hits. If this hits, if this hits, if this hits, if this hits, it hit. Cool. Interesting. So that left guy's dead. Uh, I'm not... Okay, I know the health is different. I don't remember what it was last time. I think all of them had like 1,500 health. What? Oh, they all died. Okay. 
Well, that's interesting. Mamma mia. <laughs> um, well. Suppose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Yeah. This Zozo's kind of taking his time to lock. Also, this lighting here is an issue. Let me turn the brightness up on here. That's as high as it goes, and it doesn't really help with much. Oh, it kind of does. It kind of does. You can still see my wall and that mirror right there. You know, there's a charm. There's a charm to the shit-ass quality. To, to the shit-ass quality of this. You know, I don't think streaming would be the same if I couldn't do this. In front of the camp, you see my reflection and everything. It really wouldn't be have the same charm. Okay, that's nice and bright. It's just when... Okay. So. Whoa. Okay, we're using up pips. Should I be doing that? Um... Yeah, I was gonna say, should we take care of these guys on the right? And someone else lure the others? Oh. I was thinking we zap the right, too. Um. I guess so? Electrifying, it sure is. Dude, this song is a banger! I love it. And then the third round, the third phase has that crazy theme that gets super loud and overwhelming. I didn't like it at first. It had to grow on me. Wow, that actually killed all of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. 29. This is way better than it used to be. Wow. Oh, Oh. oh, do they keep going up? Finteresting, dude, not a fan. Okay, they're using a lot of, oh, um, 90 times. No, I'm a... I'm a stupid little follower, so I'm going to do what they're doing, but I don't see how this is going to help. 360, that gets rid of, like, two of them. Only two of them. How did that help us? Oh, that's what I get for being a follower. Should have just said no. Now I'm going to die. This will be my demise. Letting people walk all over me. Not speaking up for myself. Okay. Well, no, Zozo's getting the shit for it. Because they're the one who first proposed the sound idea. You know what? That's why. Why is it always Zozo? For real, they're on a mission to kill this dude. Okay. Well, um... First of all... Or maybe I should do that. Um... Huh. Okay, getting rid of those guys. Yes. Should I get the seven health one? I don't think so. I guess so. <laughs> Why? Why won't you get these three over here? I don't know, we don't have time to think about it, so we don't get hit. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. I'm being really dry in this, actually. The love that the high dive animation is still wacky. You're right, you're not supposed to run off to the side, but we, we're still doing that. I'm being really dry in this group because I'm commentating over the stream. Should make more of the animations wacky like high dive, actually. True. 
Okay, that guy's still alive. We know that. Oh, did they use drop? I wasn't even paying No, that's sound. Oh! These guys must be smarter than I am, because... What? Oh, uh, uh. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? What? Oh, whoa! Third phase time. Whoa! Okay, I don't need it this bright. Christ. Christ. That actually looked like the descending of Christ. Oh, boy. Here we go. Woo! Oh, I remember. What was the worst one? The worst one was purple. Is this... Ah, uh, no green, no purple. That's good. Oh, it's been a year. Oh, the lag. At least, oh, come on. Oh, the lag. At least, at least no purple. We eliminate, then leave one. Okay. Okay. So, let me see this guy, no sound. Okay. The new status. Oh. I guess we're getting rid of orange. The combo will explode. What do I do then? <laughs> oh, cool. I don't, well, we took too long to figure that out. Okay, but uh, I don't remember anything. Nice combo. Okay, I remember that red does not like trap or being left on Lord. You stink. I slightly remember this. Okay, I'm not communicating anything to the stream properly, sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and try to do this. Nice. Point and laugh. Where's my laugh emote? <coughs> So, orange first? Are we getting orange first? Yeah, me thinks, okay. <clears throat> oh, this song gets crazy here. Should we leave dark blue? Yeah, 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 that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, dark blue. Yeah, 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 leave dark blue. So dark blue will keep you from using sound, which is fine because we don't really use sound anyways. The music gets wild here. It gets so wild. Ah. You have to laugh. I, I just love it. It's insane. Ah, woo! Want a free cruise. The music is crazy, dude. I love it. It's still just as laggy as it used to be. I don't remember what you get. I know that fours are very useful. Um, and they'll stack over time. I have no time to explain this to any of you guys. I'm sorry. Should we get a, rid of blue? Or red? Forgot the pip farming strat a bit. I know fours are good because they stack up. Yeah, so you got these dice that... Uh, you got these dice and all the different like dice rolls do different things. Um, you're pretty much gambling. Uh, you stack IOU buffs. Right. Use your six and fives beforehand and then let loose. Okay. Sixes give a bunch of tune-up, which is going to be very useful for times like this when we're dying. 
We need a bunch of drop IOUs. Since they have a cooldown, one, two, three, and four can only appear for the cooldown period. Oh. So you just stack? Thought we wanted to wait to do that when we have the one silhouette. I might be wrong. Okay. Whew, there goes a lot of my gags. Oh no, the lag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's gonna be lag, dude. I'm honestly still like mentally prepared for crashing. Cause that could absolutely happen. Don't you just love the thrill of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of throw day. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> They're supposed to climb the high dive ladder and then fall down, but that's not happening. He's just running off into, and now he's back. <laughs> that's a glitch. They still haven't fixed. I remember something about being able to get a, okay, well, I can't read that. About uh, being able to get a lot of zap jump damage on HR if the silhouette dies on that same turn. I remember using PN drop IOUs. Ah. Oh, whopping 30 damage, guys. That was the big part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop IOUs. Well, someone's got to drop IOU. So now we grind a ton. Reduce your pip costs. Oh, that's good. What did I do? What was that sound? I'm, I'm using all my pips. And then what did you what did you do in between here? I don't remember what you do here. What are we supposed to do? Um I don't remember nothing. We left it low, yeah. Okay. I don't remember how much we leave it on. I don't remember how much health. God, I don't remember how this ends. You're supposed to stack up like, pips are what allow you to use the dice on the side, the things that I've been clicking. I'm trying to remember this just as much as these guys, so I can't even properly explain it to y'all. We're just here to enjoy the chaos. That's what we're here to do. Oh, wow, that hit nobody. It's kind of awesome. So we want to stack up some fours. We want to get some fives until, like, three of us have a drop IOU, I think. Okay, well, that's it. Holy moly. What? I love boosts. <laughs> Yummy pips. Dude, I'm down to six. I lost all mine. I don't remember how much damage we leave it at. We don't want it too low because we don't want to accidentally kill them. <coughs> if we kill all the silhouettes, he'll spawn in a bunch of new ones. We don't want that. We want to leave one of them hanging around. We, we left the dark blue one because he's pretty much harmless. Nice. See, if that happens and we leave him too low, if we leave him on like 100 health, that'll kill him. We don't want that. The year did fly by pretty fast. Wow, dude, we don't even need a heal. That was crazy. Nice round, yeah, seriously. Okay, there's an IOU. Look alive, I gave you something. You already have a drop IOU. You don't need another one. Reduce your pip costs. That's why you want threes. Okay, so you need the threes. That's what helps you stack. Okay, I'm remembering now. I'm remembering. 
Okay, I don't think we want to hurt him again. I think we should leave him as is. <sighs> what do we do again once we get enough pips and IOUs? Because that's what I'm struggling to remember. I know we got one drop IOU. You've got like every IOU except drop. And I've got nothing. We got one drop IOU so far. I think, I think we need three. Then we like spam high roller with pianos. We stack the 15% not IOUs. Oh, okay. Yeah, we still need IOUs. That's what I'm saying. Silencing me. Bastard. Okay, you guys are getting pips a lot better than I am because I haven't been clicking threes properly. Okay, uh, you don't gotta hit him. Okay. Cool. Well, now we're just kind of hanging out until we get enough shit. Oh, we got two drop IOUs. We got two drop IOUs. Look at all the pretty arrows, man. Well, maybe zap jump damage on HR was not what I was thinking. I don't remember that. I don't remember using zap. Maybe it was like kill the silhouette with squirt and then zap HR directly. Maybe. I don't remember what we do there. Ah. Okay, let's see. Some random tune showed me that strat and it worked, huh? Okay, uh. I need to stack up my pips, dude. Well, I got no one rolls. That was a shit ass round. Are they all cats? No, I don't think so. Are they? Wait, what's this other one? Ah, no, you're a bat. Okay, we got, yeah, we got two cats, a bat, and a kiwi. Yeah. Yeah, the trap, you're right. Yeah. We could actually lay out the traps now and then lure them later when it's time that's what we did it was trap if you wanted i think it was trap both actually yes it was it was to trap both Yeah, but, yeah, drop buff stacking, yeah, dude, um, why wouldn't you do a TNT? Are we doing it now? God damn it, I can't click your thing. I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Uh. Uh. Do you have a drop IOU? I can't tell. No, you don't. We only have the two still. I have... I feel like if we did this normally, we'd be done. I really doubt that. I really highly doubt that. OK, 
Okay, we need a fucking IOU. Not, no! I need an actual one that will be useful. Man. Well, that's the amount of pips it costs. Do I have a trap IOU? Do you? Guess I'll lord now or later. What does that mean? Okay. When I ask you two things, or should I? Okay. Yeah, I asked two options. You just say yes or no. You have to pick one of the options. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, no. Anyways, it's. I think after this, we should look at some old deviant art stuff, maybe? If I'm in the mood for it. I don't think there's. Well, we could. I mean, we could do some stuff in Toontown. Go fight Flint just for funsies. Because. A Toontown session doesn't go by for me where I don't fight Flint. So we could do that just for the hell of it. Just to see my boy. New low health animation, that's fun. Um, I zoned out completely there for a second, sorry. I'm back. Well, dude, you're getting all the luck. I'm not... I just got shit. Do you have drop IOU yet? For fuck's sake. We still need it. And then the last person does lore. That's right. Yeah. So I think that's all we're waiting on now. Okay, okay. I kind of remember this now. I remember this better. It has been a while. Very colorful, crazy fight. I love the chaos of it. Blah, 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 blah. Free cruise. Man. It would have been fun if I had done, like, my first ever high roller on stream. I don't remember if I was streaming at that point or if I just... I think I just wanted to enjoy it. Without worrying about... Should I have grabbed the three first? Did I get a drop IOU or not? God damn it! I don't need a tune-up IOU. Bruh. This is horse shit. You've got like every IOU except for drop, dude. It has been an eventful stream. It's been an eventful day. I'm just celebrating the new update. Celebrating the new holiday. The April tunes. Do y'all do anything for Easter? Because uh, I do not. I completely forgot it was even Easter yesterday. It was just like, oh, another day at work. <laughs> That's really all it was. Oh, that doesn't work? Okay. Give me a five. Give me a five. Oh, I should have clicked the four. Give me a five. There's no five here. Fuck. Still none. What, what about me? I can't look because... When are we mew? We're waiting for another third drop out of you. And then I think we're ready to go. I don't know. That's what I'm going by. Oh, give us a third one. Still nothing. We need a drop out of you. It makes our drop way stronger. That's what we need. <coughs> and then the remaining person does a lore. God damn it. Misty sticker. Oh, I'm kind of getting nostalgic for when I first got into Toontown Corporate Clash last year, dude. It's been a whole year. 
It ain't going away anytime soon. Toontown is eternal. I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like, that's it. I don't have any, I don't have any fives. I'm gonna wait for them to finish. Did I get anything? I didn't get anything. That doesn't matter. They already have a drop I owe you. Oh, wait. You got it. Three drop IOUs. Okay. Sure. I don't know why, but sure. Okay, we did it. We did it. We're going to finish this. I think. I hope. Okay, now we gotta, we gotta, we stack 15% too, yes. Okay, okay. We've been stacking it, we've been stacking it. I'm gonna need that. I got no fours. I got no fucking fours. I got zero fours. That'll work. Hope that's, I think that's, I think that's GG. Please? Pretty please? Boing, boing. Aw. Oh. No. Nope, we gotta start over from fucking square one. We got next turn two, though. Do we? Do we? Oh, what a terrible time to do that. Ah. Oh. time that my battery ran low that was perfectly timed my screen flashed i thought i was dead <sighs> jesus christ okay jesus That's it, dude. That's it. GG, thank you. Yeah. Whose idea was this? Okay, now we got the ending. Now that bye ba do. Oh man, I've already seen this dialogue, so I'm not reading any of it. Because I'm not a good entertainer. I only care about myself. Oh, Whose idea was this? Oh, that's gonna be the final, that's, the GG is the final thing. I should have typed something else, I forgot about that. <laughs> gay, ah, gay people. Aww, I missed this. That's my final say. Uh, pff, help. <laughs> GG. <laughs> that's it. That's my, that's my. Right next to Rain and William, dude. They're in the audience. Holy shit, he nerfed me. That's right. Thank you. Whew, I gotta plug this shit up so it doesn't die. Yeah! The low baller stickers, dude. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's so cute. There's the chubby little fluffy little ducklings. Let's go fight Flint. And, uh, oh, god damn it. Plug it up. Plug it up. Plug it in. Get in there. All right. Got it. Got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Except this is stuck. Eh. What's wrong 
with this thing. I don't know why it's like this. There was some way I did this before where it was easy. I don't know. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good now. Okay, let's go fight Flynn. <laughs> just because. I don't think it helps with any of my tasks. It doesn't. I need to just get new tasks. I should just grab some tasks that are like... Uh, uh, fight, fight, uh, fight managers. Fight eight managers, and all eight of them will be Flint. All eight. <laughs> Hopefully people will, th there should be, oh, oh yeah, I already have all my gags. All right, well, let's go do this. What's happening on here? What did I miss? Um, well, I did a high roller fight, and... That, that's uh, one of the bosses in uh, Toontown. One of the one of the one of the bonus things they updated their game for April Fools, April Tunes, as they call it. So that was pretty fun. We looked at some new lore. We might look at old DeviantArt. Did I already say that I made a parody of your series because of you? Oh, I might have to check that out if I get a chance. Let's see. Okay. Oh man, because of you, that was an oldie. That was the weird incest series, Jeez, Jesus Christ. Dude, I used to like this one LPS series called LPS Stepsisters. And like, I have to admit, there are parts of it I like. Obviously not the romance, the weird incest romance. And if you do like it, something might be wrong with you. But there are like little things I like. I like the relationship between the two main characters, but not romantically. I like that, like, there's this issue where people, like, have to ship, like, I don't want to be like, stop shipping everything, but, but siblings, really, dude? Like, there has to be a limit. So, like, platonic relationships are just as valuable as romantic ones. Now, I'm not the type to shit on romance. I really don't want to step into that territory of, oh, stop shipping things and, and stop and, 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 like, romances. <sighs> can, I, can I confess something? As an aromantic individual who does not experience romantic attraction to anybody, um, my community has this weird, stupid culture of hating romance um, that I'm not really a fan of, honestly, and I can't really connect to any of it or relate to any of it because, personally, I, uh, I like romance, I, and I, um, I think, I think it's, I think it's a very wonderful thing, and I think it's stupid to, I, I know that it's, like, a rebellious thing, I guess it's sort of in the same realm as, like, how, how gay people will be, like, you straight people, I'm heterophobic, like, as a joke, you know? There's nothing really wrong with that because straight people don't face any fucking oppression of any kind. Um, so, I, I, like, I get that it's in the same realm as that, like, that rebellion or whatever. But uh, when it comes to... Here's, here's something. The thing... The, first of all, it is a personal problem, for one thing for me because like I just can't connect to any of it I can't relate to any of it because just because I'm aromantic doesn't mean I hate romance it doesn't mean I think it's disgusting or repulsive there are some aros who do feel that way and their feelings are valid and should be seen but I don't I just I'm not a fan of like the whole culture that surrounds it that's like I hate all romance and and romance is so stupid and like, on Valentine's Day, dude, Valentine's Day, I just, like, avoid any posts from, like, like, if I'm on Tumblr, a romantic starts trending, and I just avoid the, I avoid it like the plague, because I already know it's just on some, I honestly just avoid the aromantic tag in general, because it's just full of people being, like, okay, we need one more person soon, he's gonna despawn any second. Um, but it's just... I, I just realized this is a topic that's bothered me for a while, and I haven't streamed for a while, so I haven't had a chance to whine about it. Um, did anyone friendless got reset? I don't know. I don't think so. 
I don't see anyone online. I see people online. Oh my god, he's huge, dude! He's huge! <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the Sonic fandom from the Sonic Riders. He's so big! He was like seven feet tall. Eggman was absolutely giant in that game. It, pff, he's so big! I'm at least seven feet tall. <laughs> seven foot one, that's what it was, I think. I can't see! Well, fucking trees! Fucking two dimensional trees! Can we please get one more person? You guys are distracting me with your talking and your sound effects and your shenanigans. Tunes? I'm not like other tunes. I don't like the toony shenanigans. What happened to my voice? God damn, that's brutal. Okay, come on, dude. One more person. Flint's gonna despawn, dude. You guys are confusing me. You keep saying things in the... Not, not you guys on the stream. The people in this game... I'm, I'm not actually mad at them. They're not doing anything wrong. It's just part of my vibe. I like to yell at people. From behind a screen. They're having a glitch or something that I am not dealing with. Can we just get another person so we can fight this fucker? Mandatory flint battle. Oh, I fought like 60 of them, by the way. I think this is going to be the 61st. 61. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, man. Stick with me, please. Billy Jean is not my lover. I can't see nothing. She says I am the one. Okay, you didn't turn around where I thought you were gonna turn around. I want to run into him. That would be bad. I was talking about the aromantic thing. See, there's nothing wrong with being repulsed by romance. And I think that romance is very, very, like, saturated, oversaturated. It's not a bad thing. Duh. No one's saying that. <coughs> but I think, like, it is a very unhealthy and actually harmful mindset. <laughs> actually, what was that? It was a, it was a poor mindset of... Uh, can we wear? I know everyone's doing high rollers, but I can't believe Flint stayed for that long. That was a long ass time. Again, okay, well now we're gonna be focused on this. I'll I'll continue the rant later. Um, but yeah, it, it, there's there's a discussion to be had there. It's something I could talk about for days. It's something I care about. Well, so let's see if these people got the right idea, got the same idea as me for this fight. Some people do it differently. Some people do slightly different things. Howdy, howdy, howdy all. Cool. Nasty, unprestiged lore. 180. Oops. Weenie Hut Jr. numbers. Anyways. Hey, when we were fighting Chip... There are new animations in the game. Like, like completely. Like, everything is redone. Um, so, like, even just the standing idle animations, like, that's a new snap animation. Walking animations are different. Uh, being hit by stuff is different. That's right. I guess maybe we don't need that much, but... Okay, so these guys are on the same page as me. Okay, cool. The new sound animation, getting hit by sound, that fucking rules. Uh, there's a new taunt animation if, like, lore or sound misses. It actually happened, but I didn't highlight it when a Flint got hit by the cake that we threw at him. This pyromaniac animation is new. Um, so I didn't talk about it while we were fighting Chip because I was more focused on the fact that we were fighting Chip. Give me yes or no. They never, they never, they just, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anyways, wow, it got really quiet all of a sudden. Check, look at that. Boom! Almost knocks him right over. I love it. It's fun. And then in this, in this, in today's update that they released an hour and a half ago, uh, there's also a new animation for low health. One of these recent battles, when Flint did that, uh, 
that barn burner cheat that he does where uh lights all the tunes on fire um so he can accidentally kill himself with that one of these recent times when i fought him he accidentally killed himself with it but he took me down with him i was low on health and someone did a unite too to give me to heal me up and i still didn't survive it because it was so strong and there was no way I could come back from it. The fight was over. He was dead. They don't have prestige throw either. What do you have? I'm waiting for another cog. They didn't communicate to me. Whatever. 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 Fine. There. Because the thing is, if Flint is left alone, he does the pyromaniac thing. He also does it when you sound all the cogs, but it's okay if he does it a couple times, but you should try to refrain from doing it when you can. So he's low health now. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, they're a little more wobbly now. I like that, I like that detail. So he's all fucked up now, poor guy. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, yeah, I guess he's on fire. Now we gotta do this shit. Is it going to do barn burner? I don't know if it'll kill this other person. Who's on 32 health. I'll, I'll have a Unite ready, but... I think they're okay. They might not be, though. How much did that do? They would have been fine, just barely. Shit. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's just finish this. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 you fucking... Whatever. It's gonna miss. It always, The last one always misses. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, is that... Oh, uh -huh. GG, thank you. That is the 61st Flint done, dude. I'm on the road to 100. I'm going to beat him 100 times. He's already surpassed all my other managers. I think second up is uh, Holly. I did her battle like 34 times or something. Because it took forever for me to get her damn sticker. That was not a choice that I made, man. I didn't want to do it that many times, but I did. Because she, she was being stubborn and wasn't giving it to me. Anyway, that was it. That was, that was, I wanted to do that real quick. I think we'll look at some old DeviantArt. I'm still in the mood to stream. Let's have a look. Firestarter. 62! Bitch, 62. Still got all the, all the drops. I'm actually gonna... Uh, I love, I love the hat. It's like one of the best, this is one of the best drops in the whole game. Like, like, there's no doubt about it. I, there are, I, I rarely don't wear this hat. It, it's a banger. It is a banger. Fire Stoker, that's also from this fight. Um, and I was like... God, I get really overwhelmed when there's a bunch of clothes. It, ugh, they're all great. They all look great. They're all so cute, and you want to wear, like, a thousand of them? Oh, it's a fire hydrant. There you go, following the fire theme. That looks like dog shit. Um, my tune's always invisible. I regret making my tune red. She looks good with almost nothing. Love the Patrick shorts that they try to pass off as floral shorts. I see you avoiding that copyright. What if, what if, what if... What if Disney got mad um, seeing that <coughs> their old ass MMO, Toontown, was, had been recreated as this? What if, what if just one day they decided, you know what, we're closing down all these Toontown, all these Toontown remakes, we have the rights to, we have the rights to it, done, they're gone, just like that, no more. They, they all just closed. Th that's like a fear in the back of my mind. Is that how it works? They can do that, right? They're Disney. They can do anything. 
and no one can do anything about it. Oh, my pants, my pants suck. I wish I could throw out some of these. I don't want all these. Most of these are trash. Oh yeah, that's that. Those are the those are some of the only good pants I have. Okay, see, like if my tune was visible with all this, it's too much. It's just a lot of red. It's a lot of red. So I like to I like to be invisible. Like this hat won't look good with anything if I'm not invisible, because then it's just the red next to the red. It's just bad. Just it's just shit, you know. It sucks. It sucks, dude. Anyways, here we got like a nice mix of yellow and red kind of dividing each other up. Look at that. Got the yellow on top, the orange, whatever, fire red. And then you got yellow glasses, the white red shirt, yellow belt on the pants, and then the red, and then the yellow. Like it's perfectly stacked up dude, like a cake. Anyways, um, I think, oh yeah, I was going to go on my uh, tangent about uh, aromantic and romance. Let's see. The thing is, I don't even remember where I left off. But I personally, part of it is a personal thing. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't think it's necessarily bad to like rebel a little and like, as a joke, like say, like, oh, I hate romance. But a lot of it isn't joking, and it's like, and sometimes the, a huge problem is that it can turn into homophobia, where they start being homophobic towards gay people and lesbians and the romance of it, or asexual people will do that towards the sexuality itself, um... And, and not all of them, obviously, but I'm talking specifically about like, like when it comes to like the sexuality of it, that's like purity culture. And like, like, oh, how do you phrase this? I'm not good at phrasing on the spot. I would be garbage in a debate class. I have things and thoughts to say. I think I have some things of value, but I don't always know how to translate it out into thought, into words without <laughs> sounding like a moron. And that always happens on these streams. I get all flustered and I start trying to just explain what I mean. But, like, you, censorship is a real issue, you know? And I don't think it's a good thing to, like... Ugh, oh, god damn it. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. I have them. They're there. Oh, I know what to do while I'm while I'm just chatting. Um, I uh lose my train of thought. That's what I'm doing. There was like there was a point that I had. Um, it's a lot of different points. <coughs> I just don't personally vibe with the culture of like hating on romance, especially when it comes to like LGBT romance. Because then that turns into homophobia. And I, it bugs the crap out of me from both sides. When, like, Aero and Ace people are fighting, like, gay people and gay people are fighting them. And it, like, becomes an internal conflict within the LGBT community. And it's like, guys, can, can, can we fight the oppressors, please? What? No! God damn it, asshole. Couldn't even hit him a second time. Um, like, I was, like, positioning myself all perfectly and carefully. <laughs> he just leaves. <coughs> he knew what I was doing. But it just, like, stop fighting each other. Fight the oppressors. No, Leo, you go lay in your bed. That chair is not for you. I'm not supposed to lay in that. <sighs> it's like people are just fighting. They're fighting ghosts. Who are you fighting? Fight the actual threat. Fight the people who hate your existence. We do have to stop streaming soon, so I don't think I'm going to look at old DeviantArt. My dad's going to be home soon. This is a late stream. I wanted to stream way sooner, but I guess I guess I could have. And I could have done some other stuff to fill in the time, because honestly, that whole time, I was just waiting. 
waiting for the chance to... You know what another thing is? I'm aromantic, right? But I'm also a lesbian. So I'm kind of on, like, both of those sides. So it's really awkward just, like, watching all my people fight each other. And it's like, guys, we're all a community. We all face uh, oppression and, and the struggles of being who we are and society not liking it. Should we not connect over that? Why are we why are we fighting each other? And I think that's why I dislike the arrow and ace culture of like straight up hating romance or sexuality or shaming people for it because then you start shaming LGBT people. I thought you were American. It turns into homophobia real fast. Which is a bad thing. There's also a thing where like there there is a discussion to be had with like a lot of Aero people get uh, reasonably, very reasonably frustrated, including myself, uh, with like people feeling the need to ship everything and feeling like there can be no platonic explanation for anything. It has to be romantic. And the implication that something is less of value if it's platonic. Ooh, uh, I almost got ran over by him. But like, I can't see damn trees. <laughs> Almost out of snowballs. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Check this out, dude. Check this out. Go long! Did that hit him? Yeah. <laughs> Go long! <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right, we're done. <laughs> I wish I could grab more snowballs while I'm on the street. That needs to be the next update. Add little snow piles on the street and let me pick up snowballs. There, there has been an insane amount of times that I have wanted to keep throwing snowballs at Flint and I haven't been able to. Did I, I did say Flint was my favorite again, right? Kathleen and Graham were like my top two favorites. They were tied for the top spot for a while. But Flint's back on top, baby. Right where he belongs. Flint, Flint is above all. It doesn't matter. You just, you just, you can't beat him. He's my favorite forever. Now, now, Kathleen Graham are like I think tied for second, or maybe Kathleen second, Graham's third. I don't know. But like I was saying, I think that it's very reasonable to hate, <coughs> to hate when, uh, to be bothered by, like, like play, platonic relationships and all kinds of relationships um are important and valuable and a lot of people but like this i could just get snowballs from this you know add it into the game please i want it but i i think it's bad to treat things as if romantic is the only explanation and like platonic relationships are less of value that is a bad thing and that is harmful too to a romantic people it's harmful to that community but to that community to our community it, 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 it hurt me growing up and like never feeling that attachment to people and realizing that i was a romantic i had a hard time coming to terms with it because it was like well i'm never gonna feel romance so i'll be forever alone hi gummy bear <laughs> Hi, gummy e bear. But um, you know it's it's a very real issue and it's harmful. I when I was I had a hard time coming to terms with being Aero because I hated the idea of that that I was never gonna experience romance. But now I've come to I've come to better terms with it. I think I but regardless of all that, I still think romance is a great is a great beautiful thing. And I think that it's still very harmful to erase, like, romantic relationships, especially when it's LGBT, because LGBT erasure is a very real issue. And you don't want to, oh, you don't want to fall into that. You know, one of my favorite things, if you uh, fight a cog, he'll just walk right through it. Pff, managers just walk right through it. He just smashed that petty fogger. If it weren't Toontown and there weren't silly Toonie physics, that dude would have gotten absolutely crushed. He would have melted on, on, by, on contact. If 
fucking love it. It's it's so funny, dude. This game is so funny. Honestly, all the goofy cartoony things are funnier as an adult than they were as a kid. Even though that like cartoony silly nature is usually targeted more towards kids. It's funnier as an adult. I'm not gonna lie. Especially the fact that these are like big corporate businessmen and they're all, not even just businessmen, business people, excuse me. Business people that are mean and corporate, big ass people just trying to make money and then just slipping out a banana peel. <laughs> like it's so funny being like a working person Going to my nine to five job five days a week <laughs> and seeing that in this game and watching the cogs that are like me in a way going to going to work for a company nine to five job slipping on banana peels and getting hit by fruit pies. It's it's a joy. It is a joy. Anyways, I'll stop harassing Flint now. I think um, once he flies away, I'll give it till he flies away. Dude, these trees are the worst. <coughs> They're the worst. You know what they should do? Is they should, like, restructure these so that the, the sidewalk's bigger. Because even when, I, like, I have a group for, like, a street manager cog like this, and I'm trying to follow them around, getting ready to fight them with my group, I have to, like, navigate around, like, every corner. And it's annoying, dude. It's annoying. But yeah, anyways, uh, I think there was more that I could have said there about the aromantic thing, but my voice is tired and I'm running out of brain juices. But I think I said some things that like were important and I think you get like the point I'm trying to make. I still think that it's bad to bash, like maybe not jokingly, like you can jokingly bash romance or whatever. This started when we talked about LPS stepsisters, by the way. <sighs> Like, that's, like, that's a really extreme situation. Like, you should never, under any circumstances, ship siblings or glorify it. It's weird. But, um, I think it's just, like, uh, God, my brain. Come on, dude. You know what? I know where to go. I know where to go. See ya, Flint. Oh, he's my favorite. He's my favorite, always has been, always will be. Well, that's kind of a lie because he got kind of interrupted by that whole Cathal Graham phase, but regardless, um, I just, I just think like, especially in terms of that, you could have done something great there with like a familial relationship because they're family, they're sisters. They acted like siblings to me, honestly. Like in the first few episodes and whatnot, they were like siblings to me. <coughs> because they are siblings. <clears throat> and, like, you should be able to have other relationships that aren't just romantic and still be able to enjoy them because they're all wonderful and valuable in their own ways. That being said, don't shit on romance, but, like, especially, like, erasing, like, LGBT romance, like, maybe don't do that. This is such an interesting place. Is it a tune place or a cock place? Join work culture today with a tune image. Is that tunes or cogs? What on earth is that even? Or are they, pers is this like cog propaganda trying to persuade tunes? From factory to table. Who made chup? Is that a tune thing or a cog thing? It really is interesting, but this place fucking rules. Can we do more with the pizzeria? I can't see anything. Ugh, okay. I forget I can right click to change the camera. I haven't done that because I use a trackpad for everything and it's annoying. I want to buy a drawing tablet and I need a mouse. Honestly, I need like a real computer and stuff. That'll be fun when I get like a house and an itty bitty apartment. Although I guess I shouldn't use it as an excuse. I should do whatever I want when I want. When it's financially smart, because otherwise I'm going to miss out on life. Got to do things now, you know? Don't make excuses to wait, because if you get used to that lifestyle of making excuses to just wait and do things, you're going to spend your whole life doing that. One day you'll be on your deathbed. That got morbid. 
I think this is where I leave. Thanks for joining me. I don't know when the next stream will be. Tomorrow I have a doctor appointment, so it won't be then. Um, I'll just stream when I feel like it. I don't know when we're going to react to old videos next because I had the whole copyright issue. I don't know if I really want to risk it because since I already did it before, the punishment might be bigger this time and I never get to stream again. So I'm going to avoid doing that. I am floating. I'm, I'm floating. That's... My ass isn't... His ass is not sitting. Look at that gap right there, dude. There is no seating happening there. I'm not sitting. I'm floating, dude. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> that was that was fun. We had a good time. Uh, I'll stream when I feel like it. And we might look at old DVR or something. Not sure. Have a good